Hey guys, so today I want to do a video on grooming your long-haired guinea pig. The first thing you're going to need are grooming scissors for pets. So you're going to want to just kind of pick up your pets and yeah. Um, so what I'm doing here is I am wetting her fur. Uh, it's easier to cut wet hair. Like you know when you go to the hair salon yourself. Um, you always get your hair washed first and then they cut it so I'm not completely soaking her but just getting the hair damp enough where it will cut easier so then I'm grabbing a comb and I'm just kinda gonna comb out any knots and pull all the hair back I'm going to part her hair how it normally lays and she does have a little bit of a fringe or bangs how we girls call so now I'm just fast forwarding through this clip um, Basically, when what you want to do is when you're cutting their hair, you want to be very careful and you don't want to pull too hard. That's why I'm also using a comb for the most of it, uh, except for the butt. The butt's a little harder to do, especially on her, because uh, she pees and it gets kind of gross and mad at, at her butt. So that's when I don't use a comb. But most of the time, um, I you can see what I'm doing. I'm not pulling or anything. And I really recommend getting grooming scissors versus regular people scissors because grooming scissors don't pull. Um, they're blunt blade, they're blunt tip blades as well, and they cut way better than just your regular kitchen scissors. I had a video from when I first cut her hair way back when, um, and I used kitchen scissors, and she was screaming and crying and jumping around like a crazy maniac. So. Compared to that, these scissors work so much better, and I'm just a little bit of a neat freak and kind of am trying to um, get the hair in a straight line and get a lot of it all like uh, even and symmetrical, sort of. So, um, just tips. Um, if you have a wiggly guinea pig, see if somebody else can help you and hold while you cut hair. Um, long hair guinea pigs need to be maintained. They are very uh, high maintenance um, because you need to trim the hair unless you're going to show them. Um, and from time to time I wet the scissors to get the hair off. So now I skipped um, filming the other half uh, just because uh, it, this video would have been way too long. So now I'm just trimming her uh, bangs and what I'm doing is just basically combing and then cutting so the little part that's left in the comb I cut off just like they do at the normal hair salon so if you guys have any questions please go ahead and put them in the comments below I am anticipating some questions um, if you have a hard guinea pig like I said make sure somebody is helping you you don't want to um, have any cuts or accidents you don't want to cut an ear a foot or you know poke an eye out and I do once again recommend the pet scissors they are much better and much safer so and over time you just get to know how your guinea pig will react and they will get used to these scissors so now I'm just blowing her all the excess hair off and this is the final result so thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great afternoon bye everybody